Hey, welcome back to another V Brown Bag Build Day video here at Ravello in Israel. And for this video, I'm joined by Noam. Can you introduce yourself to the folks? Hi, I'm Noam. Uh, I'm the UI team leader. And uh, basically, you work here for two and a half years. And you were saying two and a half years makes you relatively new in here? Is it a, a team that's been together for quite a while? Uh, I'm new regarding like the old ones, but there are a lot of <laughs> the people that newer. Like, There's been a lot of people join, I presume, since the Oracle acquisition. The engineering has been kicked up quite a lot. True. <laughs> but that's not what we were going to look at. We're going to have a look at the user interface since that's what your Yay. team lead for. And it's this wonderful web UI that we see and we spend a lot of time in. Uh, and that I really like because I've used other people's cloud interfaces and it's really hard to coordinate and understand the relationships between objects in there and they, they always just give you a, a tabular list there's never anything very visual uh, so I like Indeed. that so what have we got here at the moment so right now you can see our app list uh, you can see that we have two draft apps and we have like three applications stop stopped application what we're gonna do is create a new app Thank you. Uh, create a new app. Uh, we can call it our app. SAP. Our app. And we can just choose uh, one of our blueprints. And let's create. And we reach our wonderful, wonderful canvas. So you can see here we have seven VMs. Not running yet, not published yet. It's not on the cloud. And uh, this view allows you to, like, it's visualizing the application. We can do whatever we want. We can add more. Let's look for a VM. We can just drop another VM, and that's very cool. And we can see all the VM settings and change them by, like, style form name and add disks. You can do just, like, add a disk and you can just choose whatever you want. We will do save and let's close it and it's saved. <laughs> so that ability to drag things around, in this case, the, the V app was set up to visually represent the layers of the application. That The app was set up to show the layers from front end on the left through all of the middle and right, right hand as the back end tiers. And that's a really nice visual representation that's persisted through uh, the yeah. life of this app. It's true. It also, we can help you like visualize it better if you do grouping. So uh, let's say these two VMs are in the same group. Let's say DB group, okay? Not really DB VMs, but let's go with that. And we, uh, if we will say we have another group, like the service group, let's make it another color. So you can visualize it and it's like much prettier and nice. much organizer. But it's not like the only view we have. Uh, if you have like tons of VMs and it will be hard to see here, you have also the VM list, same functionality exactly. Like you see here, the VM pops mm -hmm. are still available and you just like go with here, search for your VM and so if I had 800 VMs and I was looking for a specific VM, search is rather it's important. Much yeah, and but you can also, okay, it's like doing, you can also do it in the canvas. We have this search, but like it will be, and it will focus on your right. specific VM, but like 100 VMs will be hard to visualize and print. Beside that, you have also the network view. It's uh, our new network view. You can... Like the, the the concept is to see all the networks uh, aspects uh, from switch subnet routers and it's like much details view that you cannot see um, in the canvas. Um, so and you have two different ways of approaching the different pieces. You're in the left hand side having that tree structure showing the individual objects, but you can equally on the right hand side you can choose objects and you can manipulate those yeah, from, yeah. from the right hand like, side if so you're doing much more bulk kind of simple actions. You and you're talking about this side. Yes. Yeah, so in the like here it's the hierarchic tree and it's like much 
clear view, like you know which thing will be be under each node. Uh, it looks a lot more like configuring a physical network, and in, in that you have a hierarchy of ports and and services running and those kinds of things. Whereas the right hand side for me is a, not a networks guy, it's a server guy. The right hand side, where it's more visual, works for me. Uh, it's not just because you have here also a small canvas, but you can also see like. You have the same data. Here you can see switch one and switch two. Here you can see, and you can just dip in and it will obviously sync with the tree. Mm -hmm. uh, this entire view wasn't that easy because it's like very complicated, uh, not model, it's called model, mm -hmm. very complicated model. And it took like, I think more than one year to uh, design what, will be the relation between each part each of, of the different model. types of objects in there. Yeah. And that, I, I know, was one of the really big things in this year's release was around getting that new data model underneath the network and That's allowing true. much more complicated networking to be configured in here. Yeah, and it's obviously wasn't that the UI, but in like in the UI view, we did a lot of researchers and we did a UX lab that we called uh, our customers out of uh, Ravelo Oracle, and uh, we asked them to do some tasks, and we started to like um, I forgot the word, uh, not investigate, but just like trying to understand. We recorded it, and we just. Uh, looked at the videos and tried to understand why the user do whatever he does. Actually learning the... the behavior. The, the, yeah, the random or semi-random behavior of real users. Yeah, and try to understand to, not random, why it's not random and yeah. what caused each click, like really click. Uh, mm. If they had errors, we try to understand why they did it and how they solved it and... So and, and then try and optimize that flow for them that they don't have to go so many places to resolve the issues. Yeah, uh, we did a lot of changes uh, in the UI uh, because of this uh, lab. It was really good uh, thing that we do. Uh, we did and um, um, nice. so. What else have we got in here on this virtual this um, this app? So we've also got a log of of every activity that's been taken. So the next tab across yeah. is a. You, you have a log, log of like each application. Mm -hmm. So you can just go here, search. You have uh, every action that done has done in the app will be in the log. You can also get the log. Yeah, okay. So believe that me, there is, is a log there. here. There it is. Yeah, and you can do, see the entire log of all the organization. And beside that, we have this nice library because uh, we want you to reuse all the things that you already done. So you, we have blueprints, and I guess you know what it, blueprints, right? So blueprints, the predefined collection of virtual machines that will run some application. Yeah, and with the data and all the network. And all of that layout in the, um, in the, the canvas and all of those properties. Yeah, so you can just save any app ask for saving a blueprint. Um, so Save just, a blueprint. And voila, we will have it here. And from now, we can just create an app, app from this blueprint from here or like we did as... As you did in the, the yeah, application uh, list previously. Yeah, and beside blueprint, we have VMs and disks because we can save also like the VM image or mm -hmm. any disk. And, and I use the disk images to get ISOs uh, up as well as you can upload yeah. VMDK files as, as whole disks. Yeah. Uh, also, when you import, you, you know that we have, like, we can import VMs from ESX by the import tool that we are not talking about right now. But uh, once you will upload using the import tool, your VMs or disk will arrive here to the library and you can use it for any app. Right. Uh, before that, we added disk from just a new disk, but oh, wait, but we can do it also from here from the library based yeah. on image and you can see all your disks. Excellent. And beside that, like you can publish and choose which region do you want to publish it. Let's say I don't see Australia or something. Let's say Sydney and published mm -hmm. and now you can see like the status Progress. will changes. Progress, mm -hmm. you will wait 
And once it will be green, you can work almost like it takes. It, it's different than uh, the VM is up, but the so app. The, the, the hardware has been initialized. The operating started, but the application. Yeah, so not yet you off. need to wait a bit. Yes. And once you have one running, you can also uh, connect during the console. I don't know if you saw it. We can wait, but it's probably take a bit. Um, so we can and that just console is nice that it, that it also shows you the boot time of the, the VM. It's not reliant on the operating system. It's the virtual hardware console. And so you can see the virtual machine post uh, and, and all of the OS startup. Mm -hmm. um, beside that, you have tons of uh, uh, options. We have like the normal option style, so please stop. Mm -hmm. And we have also a family access. If you want to grant uh, someone, uh, give someone your app so he can... I don't know, connect just by console, but mm -hmm. you don't want him to be a Velo user, so you can grant an affirmative access that right. will expire whenever you will tell you him. Like the, the yeah, token. and with mm -hmm. a specific uh, uh, permissions, and you can also do it. So that will be useful for students who are attending training that was yeah, delivered through exactly. here. Yeah, exactly. We do it for the training portal. It's another service that we have, yeah. um, so it's a cool service, and... The students works doesn't work with Revelo. They work, they work with, with uh, the clients. The client, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you, Nan. Uh, thank it's you. been interesting. I really like this user interface. I think it's one of the nicest um, cloud management interfaces that I've used. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. Uh, keep watching for more of the V Brown Bag Build Day videos.